All right, welcome back to my Let's Play of Siege of Avalon. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We're here again in the ruined village that is now the <laughs> Awul Camp. We're in Village 7. Last time we... Uh, began, we continued our search around the, the Awul Camp. We're on the lookout for a, a wide variety of dealies. All these tasks... We have to scout these three areas and report to Mudom and find the possible time of attack. We need to find this, rescue this guy, Edgard of Eratoy. When infiltrating the camp, we need to get into Overon's tent to retrieve his satchel. We need to find the Dreamwalker's wand for Olan. We need to burn the Sha'awul fiendish war machine for, um, what's his face? Um, the wizard, Elazar. We need to switch the fake staff with the real staff inside Mithras's tent for Old Ben the Scout, and we're also doing that task for the, the test for the Sha'awul, Master of Scouts. So, let's actually get going. Use our stealth abilities and take on. Get back to it. Uh, if you recall, last time we talked to a young Sha'awul warrior named Shalin or Shalin or whatever his name was. I think Shalin. Had an interesting conversation with him. Is that him right there? Oh, jeez. That dog needs to go. I could... They could find me out. Got it. Let's get out of here. Or let's just hide. <laughs> Alright, we got a little bit of training points for taking out the guard dog, which is too bad, but you know, we do not need it blowing our cover. Because if you remember, a few of these creatures can see through our disguise. Not necessarily our cloak spell, but our disguise. These guard dogs can see through it because we don't smell like a Sha'awul, we smell like <laughs> something else. Because, of course, we are something else. Kalan is not a Awul warrior. of the, Because he's disguised to look like a Awul warrior of the... Was it the... Of a mixed race variety? Half human, half work, or Awul? But he probably does not smell like one. There's another dog that we... Had to kill, unfortunately. But you know, it's War Peacock. <laughs> Which is a line, of course, from the movie Clue. And if you've never seen that movie, that you owe it to yourself to see it. It is a hilarious, hilarious movie. I mean, if you played the old game, that's all the better. But even if you haven't, it's not that difficult a concept, and the movie's hilarious. Tim Curry does a fan friggin tastic job, but there's so many good performances in it. Let's see anybody in here? Anything in here? I don't remember everyone who's in it. Christopher Lloyd, Leslie Ann Warren. I don't remember a bunch of other people too. They all do a really good job. Uh, nope, I cannot remember the others. But the the best one, of course, is. Tim Curry does a fantastic job as the butler. <laughs> Such a hilarious movie. Clue. Really well done. For the most part, anyways. There's a few parts that are a little bit clunky, but yeah, most movies are not perfect, and that one is so good it doesn't need to be perfect. Alright, well, that's that. There doesn't seem to be much in this area. We should talk to the trainee. We saw that we're supposed to be finding out when the attack might come, and last episode we not only did we find this one dude Shallon, we found a bunch of old training. Okay, this is this little camp. But over here, was it? Yes, right here, a bunch of tra they're training. Let's talk to the trainer. Don't speak to me while training. Okay, sorry, sorry. 
That was rude of me. I apologize. No, I guess it's not there. Let's go this direction. Have we explored over here? Yes, we have. So we've done one, two, three, four. Maybe five and six, because that's actually old village one and two. Seven, eight. Maybe we need to go down south. But let's actually just go this way again. First, then we'll... Oh, jeez. Watch out, Callan. You're going to get cut. And then you're going to have no one but yourself to blame. <laughs> Slash through the gut. And you're to blame. You give scouts a bad name. Okay, this leads us right back to where... This is... Okay, yes. This would is this used to be village four. What I think I'm gonna do These guys are all chill with us. Cause they think we're one of them. <laughs> There's a bunch of rando dogs here, but we took care of we took care of them, unfortunately for the dogs. Oh no, there's one right there. Jeez Louise. That's the way end, into the underground. Callan. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so difficult to click on the thing properly. Those things hit so darn hard. Man. I will say, little spell hotkeys really help. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make an initial report back to Mudom. Since we did find out about the, what do you call them? The non-human entities? Okay. Let's go talk to Mudon right quick. Second floor. See, to uh, them, we appear as a normal human, but it's only to the owl that we appear to be an owl. All right, Mudon, Mudon. I've investigated a few of the areas you spoke of. Yeah, but why have you turned me with your... Okay, I apologize. Why have you returned to me with your assignment incomplete? I apologize, Muda, but I believe this information is urgent. These, Those in charge must be kept informed. Perhaps I should have mentioned that I need information about each of the regions before I can make a truly informed decision. I applaud your initiative. You're quick and capable, but please return only when you have information about each of the three areas. All right, well, farewell for now, Muda, man. Thank you. Well, jeez. I can't make use of partial information. Okay. I came back to report partial completion of my scouting assignment to Mudan, but today, but he turned me away saying he needs all three areas scouted before he can make any more decisions. Well, that's that's a thing. Now we know. Well, apparently Ulan I mean Ulan. Mudan does not want to hear about the Nagos. At least not yet. Let's go back to the gate. Huh. That's weird. I would have... Well, you know. I guess it's like, what's his face? The other dude who wanted all the reports. And he didn't want any... Just one or two of them. Even though I'm like, why do you want me to carry these invaluable reports with me into the field? That doesn't seem reasonable? Is that the term? Reasonable? Doesn't seem sensible at all? Alright, well. I think I will meet you on the other side of getting back to where we were. Alright. So, now we're back in Village 7. We learned a little bit. A.K.A. we have to finish this whole mission before we can really do much. Or at least we have to scout all the areas before we can report anything. So, that means we need to either go, we need to go to the bottom four areas, I think. I wonder where the Houndmasters dealy is.
Scout. Have you not heard? Oh, wow. Have you not heard? There are rumors that a dirt man in disguise is stalking about. Step lightly, warrior, and as always, burn brightly. I'm grateful for your advice, Hunter. Burn brightly. They've heard about us. Yeah. Yep, yep. Using these dirt man items, if it wasn't for the purity rights, we'd be contaminated. Okay. I had thought that I'd learned everything about combat, but with all the different clans here, all with slightly different styles, I see now that I was being foolish. Now I have improved twofold over what I was, and will be ready whenever the assault is called. As shall I be. Good day to you. Huh. Wow. That's interesting. He's like, even among his own people, there's room to become more well-versed. Okay, now eat the horses. We're not going to eat the horses. Okay, yep, the dirt men worship ghosts. That's pretty creepy. I don't know if they actually do. But okay, well that was interesting. There's a couple new lines, and apparently the, they know about us, which is not exactly good. It's actually bad. We'll just sort of creep around here. This is what? This is village 11. So... I wanted to actually go, let's go back to village 12 and cut up to village 8 again. Can we go up this way? Yes, we can. I think. Can we not? Kellen, are you stuck? Ah, yep. Now let's explore. This is village 12. I don't know what's here. I cannot remember, honestly. Uh oh. A lizard man? They have lizard men in their dealies as well as Nagas? Keep our spell up. Huh. It's not making any notes about them, but I guess... Hmm. We fought a bunch of lizard men in our... In the last chapter. Oh, jeez. Let's be very careful. Sha'awu warlord, Sha'awu warrior, a shaman... Oh, jeez. Let's spy. Oh, my goodness. Callan, you dumb dumb. You almost could have been seen by that guy right there. Oh, my. The controls are trying to betray me. You, my friend, are going to eat it. One shaman less. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's into red stuff. <laughs> red, red, red. And we got ring of greater protection from cold. Wow. Wow, we! I'm like the sheriff of Rottingham. Uh, and the ring of greater protection from magic. Wow. Plus two to perception and charm. That's really good. That was the guy to to get. Wow, that was that was really good. Let's keep our spell up. We need to be very careful. Okay, that's where we would I was having problems. <laughs> yes. Okay, so there's that's a camp with some significant people in it. Plenty of people who can see through our disguise. All those shaman. But maybe there's some things that are quest targets, quest objects. A wolf fighter. Friend, you know, a athlete, one who will talk to us. Hello, friend. Care to spar, brother? Eh, don't have time, unfortunately. 
Plus, I'm getting plenty of practice, you know, <laughs> sniping the shaman. Let's actually try this. There's some warlords right there. Can we snipe them to good advantage, or is that just a fool's errand? Shot old general. Okay, so they're, they're just appearing. But these ones are neutral. Or, like, not hostile. Maybe this is still worth it. Warrior. Fighter. Fighter. Warrior. <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> I have to say. Okay, so... Let's just make sure there's nobody hostile. Left. Nope, nope, right there. Anybody left that's hostile? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Now, let's actually uh, save again, right here, <laughs> and let's actually talk to these people, be real obnoxious. My sword grows rusty with disuse. This waiting is not the way of our people. Spar with the other warriors, it's the only way to pass the time. I know most of their fighting styles already. I have not had much of a chance to cross steel with a dirt man. You shall have your chance soon enough, warrior. Burn brightly. Soon we'll be free of the Dirtman's unholy taint. Yep, yep, yep. Unholy taint. Oh no, there's a guy here. He's lying here, dead. Fellas, what happened? I don't know, he just fell over. He sprouted an arrow. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, not the way of our people. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nope. Oh, for a warlord, he had a really common kit. Let's see. I can't wait to start in the dirt man's box. I may burst if we do not attack soon. Harness that ferocity, warrior, for we may have to wait for it quite some time. Yep. <laughs> That's a lesson the people in Avalon know well. Okay, he does not want to talk. How about you? I envy the hunters. Not their job, but they, they have a job to do. This warrior has nothing of use. Brother Warrior. It's a, welcome to this camp. Yep, yep. Good camp. Good friends and faces. Too bad the ladies aren't here. Yep, okay. Well, I think we've done what we came to do at this camp. Hmm. Let's take a look at this Flambear's Broadsword. It's a pretty decent weapon. Not really for us, but you know, whatever. Pretty cool. Okay, any... Oh, oh my goodness, you can go farther. This is 12... Oh my gosh, this area is probably... Oh geez. What, 16 squares then? I thought maybe 12 was about it. Okay, is that... It. Warrior. Shaman. Uh, oh, there's a non-hostile shaman. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. To talk to him. Run, 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 Callan. Run. The guy's really patient. He's like, oh, I'm just getting shot. You know, just getting shot. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay, these guys do not give experience. Okay, that's... That seems to be... 
<laughs> okay. Shaman. This warlord. Oh, there's another shaman and he's hostile, so we need to take him out. Can we get around this way? Uh oh. Got him. Warrior. Does he have anything good? Here's a little bit of dirt man kit. It's probably been purified, but still. It is interesting to see how the, the shot will are at least somewhat concerned about whether they're being contaminated by this whole process. <laughs> okay, let's actually go and save. Right quick, save. We'll just save over that one right here. Quick, yes. I want to see if I can talk to this shaman without it blowing it. I'll bet that Dirtman General fights like a demon. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, geez, let's go. Oh, he has. <laughs> Here's some loot. Ring of greater protection from cold. Another one. Greater protection from fire. And from magic. That is some excellent loot. Definitely worth raiding those those guys. I don't think we're going to find any information on what we need to know here. Okay, now it's definitely worth not worth doing this. <laughs> I guess we can go. Well, that's not. Got some treasure, some loot, but apparently there's an infinite <laughs> owl generator inside that tent. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And I guess you can't just farm experience there forever, but you know, whatevs. Oh, this more lizard men, or is that the same ones? That must be the same ones we already. Saw them. So, where is this Houndmaster's tent? I'm starting to wonder where in the heck it is. No, no, don't do that. He's hostile. Oh, we're getting experience for this. A shaman. Let's see what they had. Warlord. It's a bunch of spiky gear. Oh, a dirt man shield and bandolier. Warlord. And nothing all that remarkable. There's, oh, no, a shaman. Ooh, wow. Open black cloak, black studded shoulder pads. Link, I, oh, he's wearing a dirt man vest. And greater protection from fire and from magic. These can be sold too. We don't need all of them, perhaps, but we can definitely sell some of the extra ones for good money, I think. All right, anybody else here? Huh. My goodness. Callan. Why don't you just, you know, not kill him?
What did he have? Anything good? He was a general, supposedly. A decent kit for an owl, but not really anything worth picking up. Okay, this is back to here again. Her. Well, let me see. How about you? A warrior? Let's talk to the warrior. Hello, warrior. Well met, warrior. Always good to meet another who will join in on the coming assault on the dirt men. A little while longer and the war machine will be done and that war will be ours. Indeed. Good day. Ah, join me with some coffee, brother. <laughs> coffee? But doesn't coffee have grounds in it? Grounds sound like the dirt men. Ah, but this coffee has been purified by the lady's fire. Hmm. All right, well then let's try going this way then. We're going to Village 11. Stealth up. Maybe we'll find some more interesting stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's get situated. We're in the upper right-hand corner. So let's go down, down. Not to Goblin Town, but nonetheless. Anybody here? Anybody? Anybody? Okay, so... A whole lot of nothing right there. Anything? Nothing here. This building is completely ruined. Dang. They did a good job of ruining it. for the Houndmaster, among other things. But if we can find the Houndmaster's tent and get that an article of clothing from him without getting discovered or hurting anybody, we can get training from the Aul Master of Scouts. Which will be really good, I'm sure. Because training always gives you the best bang for your training point buck. And the Master of Scouts is the training option for this chapter. Oh, geez. Darg? Ooh, let's save right quick. There's another named Owl. You there, warrior. Were you assigned to guard the wagons on their way back to the supply camp? Wagons? Are you not Va Prison? I am called Sonless, not Vaprison. Oh, I see. I apologize then, warrior. The supply train that just left is short of warriors to guard it. Though it is empty, the supply camp has been particularly stripped of warriors to bolster our forces here, and they do not have enough remaining to send, to send any along with the wagons. We then must send warriors to accompany the wagons, but our warriors do not like this duty, preferring to remain in the camp, lest the call for battle be sounded. Hmm. So we can say, I see. Well, I wish you good fortune in locating your missing warriors then, Hunter. Or, why must warriors accompany the wagons? They have not been attacked in the past, have they? Nothing serious, warrior. Yet it remains a fact that dirt men wander these lands. Not all of them hide within their stone walls. As well, the forces inside those walls may send out a force to disrupt the supply chain, and there are too many of us here for the local land to feed easily. We simply cannot afford to leave ourselves vulnerable. That is true. Hunters understand this and would gladly accompany the wagons, but all of us are necessary to hunt what game we can here. This task should fall to the warriors, but they see it as a boring ride back and forth to the supply camp. Hmm. Huh. While I regret that I have tasks in this camp to keep me occupied, I do hope you find your missing warriors, Hunter. Farewell. Hmm. Huh. Well, that is interesting. So they're having logistics. They're having logistics issues and issues in keeping their supply wagons guarded, secure, which is probably valuable information in its own right. Okay, so this is the corner. Maybe some of these buildings have people in it. Let's just check. I actually think we could perhaps, let's up our stealth a tiny bit more. There we are. 
Oh, and let's look at our inventory. What do we have equipped? We have protection from fire, which is 2 to 25. And greater protection from fire is 8 to 35. Yeah. What is this? Oh, yes. That's quite a good little dealie. Protection from magic is what? Greater protection from magic. I think I'm going to put this on instead of the protection from fire. Protection from cold. Hmm. I think I'm going to put two of these protections. Oh, wait, what, what do we have here? Protection. Ring of protection. Hmm. Electricity. Mother of Pearl. Oh, wow, that Mother of Pearl is not nearly as good as this right here. Because it also gives this. Wow. I think I'm going to put two of these on for now. The elemental rings will be very useful in the next chapter. But right now, that'll give us protection from magic and a boost of plus four to perception and charm, which will be very useful, I think, in this chapter. Mard. All right, hello. Warrior, this one is called Mard. How can I help you? Get away from me. You have nothing I want. Er, there's nothing I need at the moment. No, it's good to know you. I'm called Sunless. Va, Sunless. Mard is an arrow maker and makes very good arrows, too. Do you need arrows, Va, Sunless? Oh, I, did we hear about this guy? I think we did. We heard about the, some of the scouts and hunters talking about the arrow maker, who was a craftsman, thus lowly, but a very skilled dude. Let's see. Yes. Oh, see, if you go Va Mard, he's going to go, huh? Because that's a warrior's honorific. Yes, Mard. I could use some arrows for my quiver. Has Mard done... Oh, no, no, I'm... Has Mard... Okay, yes. <laughs> You're... Has Mard done something to offend you, warrior? His arrows are good. This one deserves his ta name. I apologize, uh, Tamard. It has been a difficult day for me. <laughs> we were right not to call him Vahmard, but apparently the craftsmen have their own honorifics. Your arrows are not good enough for me, and you deserve nothing. Get away from me. No, I apologize. These are difficult. There are difficult times all around, warrior, but at least here there is much wood and many birds for this one to use in, to make his arrows. Would you like to see them? All right, Tamard, let me see them. Yes, warrior. Do you see my arrows? They are good arrows. Yes, Tomard, so they are. Alrighty, wow. <laughs> I just want some compliments. No one's nice to me. Okay. Ta is the honorific by which craftsmen are called. In my, dis in my guise as a warrior, I outrank simple craftsmen, so using the honor this the honorific is not strictly necessary, but leaving it off may antagonize them. Yes. Alright, cool. That's interesting. Has this one offended? Jeez, what I do? I make good arrows. Yes, yes, pal. I mean, Ta Pal, you make great arrows. That's right. If you're gonna call me Pal, at least you can call me Ta Pal. <laughs> now we already went. Th yeah, these are the room builds we already went through. All right. Let's keep searching. Hmm. Has this one done anything to offend? Ugh. Oh, it. Fuzilas. Let's save again. Jeez. Another warrior. Hold a moment, Hold a moment warrior. I am called Fuzilas. May I have your name? Sunless. But I regret that I do not have time to chat with you at the moment. Or, I am called Sunless. And what is it that I may do for you, Fuzilas? How is it, Vasunless, that you may consider yourself true Sha'u, and yet some of your garb is clearly of the dirt men? Like, okay, so here, he's a purist. It's like, you are wearing an awful lot of a dirt men kit. And we are, I mean, I think maybe he has one or two Sha'u items on. <laughs> Many of our people are similarly dressed. Yes, I am familiar with these arguments. 
The shaman do not forbid it, so it must be acceptable, they say. Or, it is only right to use the dirt men's things to aid in destroying them, they say. But you do not agree. They say many things, but you do not agree. It will not end with the destruction of the dirt men. Already we become more like them every day. Like the dirt men? How do you mean? How long have we been here, warrior? Ah, this guy's, this guy's smart. Have you ever been in one place for so long? The seasons come and go, and yet, not only do we remain, but we will remain until we've destroyed the dirtmen cowering in their stone box. That is the hope of the shot. Oh, yes. How then is our camp any different from a dirtman village, chained to one spot? We cannot follow the herds, and the hunters say we that already the wild game grows scarcer in this region. We already use the orchards of the dirtmen as they require no digging of the earth, despite the fact that... The lady and the lord did not did not make the trees grow there naturally, and there are dark rumors that the roots we eat were not gathered by our hunters, but were collected by dirtmen slaves from their former farms under hunter direction. As long as we do not till the earth ourselves, they undoubtedly think that we will not be tainted, and the lord and lady will not turn from us. But we can say, how terrible! I had not heard the rumor. It would be interesting if it represents the truth. Of that, I have no doubt. But these farms are kept far away from here, far away from the faithful's eyes, and their tainted produce is carted in for us to eat. Shameful, is it not? <sighs> okay, I suppose that would depend on the truth of the matter, or as shameful as only the truth can be. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. I suppose... Eh. We don't. We, we don't know. We're. we We don't. We're, we don't openly contest that the shaman are leading us wrong. I guess that would only depend on the, the truth of the matter. The truth. The truth is that the longer we remain in this cursed land, the more like the dirtmen we become. First, we use their things like clothing and armor and weapons. Then our camps become villages. Then we start using their farms. And finally, finally, we would pen our animals and no longer hunt them. Ugh. Yes, that would not, would that not be ironic? Or the Sha'ul would no longer be the Sha'ul, or all that from me wearing a few bits of dirtman garb? I think you worry over much. Now, I see your point. The Sha'ul would no longer be the Sha'ul. I fear for our future, brother. I truly do. Okay, we can say, take heart then. If you refuse to wear heavier armor such as dirtman's, you have far less of a chance of surviving to see your... Prediction becoming reality? <laughs> That's nasty. Jeez, Cal. <laughs> or you have given me many things to consider, warrior. Many things indeed. Good day to you. Wow. That guy's a thinker. The truth is out there, brother. Eh, he's not wrong. I mean, not entirely anyways. I mean, I don't know. Oh, jeez. Can we say that the owl? I mean, how long? How many? How many years have they been at this? You know, are they really still the owl they used to be? And how much of the owl is tied up in this? You know, sort of going with the flow of the land of nature and all that. Sorry about your dog. Oh no, your dog! Someone shot it. Okay. Oh, there's horses? Okay. Let us... A horse. A shot. A warrior. Let's talk to this warrior. Blasted guarding. Waste of a good warrior's talents. It'll be over soon enough. Be vigilant. All right. I think we'll finish up this area and then call this episode. This is taking me a while, but you know, whatever. Interesting stuff. Ooh, a mana bow. A bow designed for increased magic. It is typically four to six feet in length. It gives us a bonus to mysticism, ding stealth a little bit, and gives you a tiny bit of mana. That's a pathetic increase of mana, but that, the mysticism bonus is decent. Huh. That's cool. I wonder if it's worth using. Increasing your mysticism score is always nice. Oh, 
Alrighty. Oh, here's another room. Fighters. Man, still have not found. Somehow my dog glad <laughs> I tripped over my dog. Oh, poor guy. Can't have those hostile invading that will guard dogs. That guy is a thinker though. He's like Okay, yes, yes. We will soon be free of the taint. If it weren't for our purity rights, the usage of dirtman things and the uh, taking in of one of their kind would be severely punished. It must be a sign of the goddess's grace that we're still here. That's an interesting viewpoint, warrior. Perhaps you're correct. You should go talk to the warrior over there. He has some thoughts on that. You guys might have an interesting discussion like we I did. Because he thinks we're being corrupted. Irremediably? And there's no remedy. And we're irredeemable, potentially. That we've almost become half dirt men. Half dirt men. That's impossible. Is it, warrior? I beg you, go listen to his arguments. I think you'll see his wisdom. But that would mean the shaman have... I do not do anything but trust the shaman. Okay, he doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to talk. Well, that's just great. A bunch of rude fighters. Let's see. Alright. Well, I think that's everybody here. Man, another still no sign of the Houndmaster's Tent or any of the other valuable targets that we're looking for, but you know, this camp is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Let's just make sure we've gotten everything up here. Yes, we've looked at everything here. All right, cool. Well, I think on that, I'm going to say thank you for joining me on this episode of my Let's Play of Siege of Avalon. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Next time, we will continue our search, and this camp is huge, and I'm really enjoying the Kind of the perspective of the shot. Oh, it's pretty cool. And we're getting some pretty nifty treasure. So take care, y'all.